May 28, 2023 will determine whether Turkey will return to his orientation to the United States or remain in his stance. Turkey has been kicked out of the F-35 program by the U.S. because under the leadership of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Turkey opposed Washington's policy of prohibiting the purchase of S-400 air defense systems from Russia. Washington says the S-400 poses a danger to the F-35 because it is incompatible with NATO systems. Turkey could begin to reorient itself towards the West and better align itself with its NATO partners. Turkey will also unite with NATO's policy against Russian aggression in Ukraine, writes Air Force Technology. Meanwhile, if Erdogan can retain power again, as he has for decades, it is likely that Ankara will continue to reposition itself geopolitically. Turkey will be a bridge between East and West but potentially more aligned with Moscow. Turkey's shift away from Western power structures and toward Russia has been a theme for several years, with Ankara likely feeling snubbed by the European Union's protracted membership. James Marcus, aerospace and defense analyst at Global Data said, it is possible that Turkey may return to the F-35 program. However, even if that is the scenario, Ankara will have to carry out a broader reassessment of the country's entire defense industry strategy. The program will bring many economic benefits at a time when Turkey is struggling, and the New Deal could be a symbol for a fraught reset of relations with the West. But it's not as simple as it seems, the US will likely want something in return, Marcus said. Defense Minister Turkey is currently insisting that all they want is a refund of the money they have put in the F-35, but this could be a bluff and he may leave soon, he added. The single biggest hurdle to Turkey's re-entry into the F-35 program, according to Marcus, is the S-400 missile system it acquired from Russia in 2019. The US has tried to get access to these systems both for their intelligence and for possible donations to Ukraine, but they also may never deliver Turkey F-35s while they have S-400, Marcus said. Even with the prospects of both, competing technologies within the same military were seen as too great an intelligence risk. Turkey will continue to invest in domestic defense projects over the long term but has also shown a willingness to purchase a combination of foreign equipment while developing their own capabilities. According to Marcus, the Turkish military favors a strategy of investing in a mix of new equipment while also upgrading old systems, which it describes as a high-low mix. Turkey sees high-end platforms used against bigger threats and more affordable tools for smaller ones for everyday needs. You can see this in their current jet fleet with the old F-4s and new F-16s and army tanks. The TFX is currently unproven, and the costs may be too high, especially with the bad economic situation. A new government can also change things. But Turkey often wants to mix foreign and domestic kits, explained Marcus. Time will tell whether Turkey will again be trusted by the US with capabilities reserved only for its closest allies or not. Everything will be decided by President Turkey-elect at the end of this month.